we're trying to do here is deliver uh, and create high impact visual storytelling and analysis for the, the business and finance audience and to deliver that you know wherever they may be whether it's at their desks at work uh, uh, their computers at home or even on their uh, their handheld devices and uh, to sort of skip over those broadcast channels if you will uh, and to be able to deliver it uh, in, in sort of uh, real time on, on online and and when they want it as opposed to having to wait for different uh, different times to uh, to come and see it I'm just looking at this list of stocks that are doing well, and they all share one common characteristic. I'm, I'm uh, not invested in any of them. You might think that this is a coincidence. How would you describe your audience? Uh, they're very active uh, business finance, uh, mostly at work audience. Uh, so obviously a lot of interest in everything that's happening with the economy right now. Uh, anything that's happening uh, uh, as it relates to their, their jobs, their homes, and their savings. Uh, so cr cutting across really the broad swath of everything to do with, with business and finance. It's very interesting. They actually want to see all kinds of video. It's, there's not any sort of direct pattern. So we've seen some behavior where people will watch a video and do other tasks. So it's sort of multitasking. There's a lot of research that suggests, you know, in the same way that people have laptops uh, on, uh, they're using their laptops while they watch TV, that same kind of dynamic going forward. Uh, the idea too is that we, we try to compress our storytelling so you know that that dynamic of, uh, of on-demand video is, is almost demands that everything be really very tight uh, compressed storytelling so the audience is looking for something that that uh, delivers on whatever the promise is of the headline uh, and that we can't we can deliver that and the there's there's a lot of different uh, approaches it depends you know the story depends uh, that the length of the video will depend on the story. Uh, so if it's something that's a very quick hit, uh, inter interview with a newsmaker, for example, that's that's uh, breaking a piece of news, uh, we can we can make that a very small piece. But if it's a more feature-oriented, uh, sort of a real people story about what's happening with the economy, we'll stretch that out uh, into uh, you know five plus minutes, uh, almost like a, a mini documentary, if you will. So it really depends on the kind of story. So we we think of online video is really another uh, sort of arrow in the storytelling quiver. We really started our video operation uh, as a pure startup in, in uh, January of last year. And out of the gate, it was something that was, was profitable right away. And that was because we, we recognized there was an audience demand. Uh, you could see with the adoption of, of YouTube and other online video uh, startups over the last couple of years that there was a tipping point in the in the uh, to the degree to which uh, people wanted to consume video so we we knew the demand was there and being able to deliver on that demand to the audience uh, allowed us to monetize that uh, very quickly what is the current environment with uh, you know in, in terms of business and finance and how that affects you I mean there's a lot going on on Wall Street there's a lot going on in Washington uh, from an editorial standpoint uh, and from a consumer engagement standpoint um, you know what's going on now right uh, uh, there's everything is going on now. I mean, from the time that the financial crisis really started on uh, unravel back in uh, last summer and, and sort of peaking in September or October, I mean, it has touched everybody's lives in every single way. Again, we rudder all of our coverage, whether it's video or text, uh, around the ideas of like, what does this mean for your, your job, your home, and your savings? And that kind of uh, reporting and analysis, you know, means as much to anybody in a corner office as it does to somebody uh, in a cube, so that's how we we, we rudder our coverage. Uh, I think it's fair to say that everybody's still very worried. Uh, the sensibility that things are improving, like the stock market's up, what uh, you know, 40 percent uh, this year. Uh, other other indicators are, are are improving, but I think that everyday people are really still feeling a lot of pain. We're going to see a lot of uh, uh, a pain in the job market for an extended period of time, so so people feel that. And what we try to do here that I think is different from a lot of our, our co competition is to connect, you know, what's happening on Wall Street, what's happening in Washington with what's happening in the rest of the country. I think a lot of uh, our competitors kind of miss that story. So we send out our reporters into the field all the time, you know, with cameras much like you have here, very uh, sort of low impact and efficient, but to be able to deliver high impact reporting of what's really happening out there.
It's a good time to be in business journalism in a way. It's uh, unfortunately it's the it's the best. <laughs> all right, all right.